I am very honored today to really start the, a very critical uh, step or phase uh, in the National Western Center's uh, lifespan here in the city of Denver. We've had some, a tremendous uh, five years, but today is a, a critically important one as we stand up the National Western uh, Authority, starting with the nomination of members of the board, the inaugural board of the National Western Center. I want to uh, share today that I uh, remind everyone, first and foremost, that the framework agreement that we have with our partners and the establishment of the National Western Authority Board uh, calls for the mayor to make seven appointments and for the first and only time the mayor gets to appoint the chairman of the board as the inaugural board and uh, you might recall I nominated and uh, 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 former lieutenant governor Joe Garcia to be the chairman the inaugural chairman of the board of the National Western Authority uh, today I make the announcement of the other six uh, nominees that I am sending to City Council uh, as nominees for the National Western Authority board I'm proud to nominate former president CEO of CH2M Hill Jackie Henman uh, Rob Brown who is principal of the Denver Retail Group, uh, Kelly Lee, the executive vice president of Oakwood Home and former uh, project director for the National Western Center, uh, Monique Lovato, the CEO and executive director of Mikasa Resource Center as well, uh, Steve McCarthy, who is chairman and CEO of Aleem uh, International Management Group, uh, you might recall also that the framework agreement called for the mayor to appoint two members of the community, at least two members of the community, one of which would be a non-voting member and the other a, a voting member. The voting member will be John Zappian, who is a resident of the Glowville Hilaria Swansea neighborhoods. Uh, we welcome John. We also nominate Liliana Flores Amaro, who is a who will be the non-voting member and also a member of the Glowville Hilaria Swansea neighborhoods. Brendan Handling will be the second uh, non-voting member of the board and you uh, may remember or may know now that Brendan Hanlon is our chief financial officer and currently the deputy mayor of the city of Denver. I will also like to thank our partners uh, again for their tremendous stewardship uh, here. We could not have done this project or moved this project forward without CSU and without the National Western Stock Show. And so we will remind everyone that the Colorado State University gets the opportunity to appoint two members of the board, Dr. Tony Frank, president of Colorado State University, and Amy Parsons, executive vice chancellor of Colorado State University, will serve as representatives of CSU. The Western Stock Show Association has uh, nominated, or excuse me, appointed Pat Grant, who is the chairman of the board of the Western Stock Show Association, and Paul Andrews, who is president and CEO of the board. Very monumental step uh, in this great phase of the National Western Center. This is the inaugural board, at least the nominees. Next steps will include going to city council for confirmation of these members. Uh, chairman Garcia has already been confirmed by city council. The remaining six members will have to go to city council, and we expect that by the end of January, they will be confirmed by uh, city council. A great and important day in the life of Denver and a great and important day in the life of our National Western Authority. I'm going to turn it over to Chairman Garcia for a couple of brief words, uh, and then we'll open up for question and answer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to say on behalf of all of those who have been nominated, this is an incredible honor, but it's also a huge responsibility. As President Frank said just a few minutes ago, before we started, it's our job to make sure that this project works for everybody that it works for the Western Stock so Show Association, that it works for the people of the city and county of Denver, that it works for people around the state, that it really works for people in the neighborhoods right there that surround the Stock Show grounds. It's critically important that we keep their interests in mind. Denver has an incredible history of taking on huge and ambitious projects that move us into the future, but at the same time keep us rooted in our past keep us rooted in our Western heritage. So we want to make sure that this project does exactly that. And again, that we keep in mind the uh, very important interests of all of those who will be impacted by the development of this project over the next 10 and 20 years. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I will just say before we go to Q&A that uh, before you all came in, I shared with the nominees that there will be no more important phase in terms of the life of this board than right now. They will set the tone uh, for this authority going forward. Um, their first responsibility, obviously, is to get wedded into the with the vision and the uh, governing objectives of, of the authority board and then to identify and uh, appoint a new uh, president, uh, the first president of the National Western Authority. So critically important, and uh, just finally, uh, you know, just want to make it very clear that I did not appoint 
uh, Lieutenant Governor Joe Garcia because he shaved his head. Um, <laughs> although that was, it was important in the consideration. Um, you know, <laughs> we want to make sure that that was clear going forward. That's uh, any any questions that uh, we can try to answer for you. Mayor, what uh, criteria did you use in looking for board members? What kind of mix are you looking for? We took a very thoughtful approach to this, and, and this was the first board that I used or implemented old techniques from the National Civic League in terms of actually doing a technical stakeholder analysis. We identify the categories that we wanted to populate this board with, people who were uh, maybe uh, familiar with the agribusiness and the agricultural opportunities of, of, of uh, the, the vision around the National Western Center, uh, people who would, be, who would have some business background operations background, maybe concessions background, people who are sensitive from, but also sensitive uh, of community concerns and the impacts of the National Western Center uh, uh, of, uh, on the surrounding communities. And then we went about populating names and we started grading people, uh, evaluating uh, based on their, where their resumes and what we knew about them. And we just kept whittling it down until we got it. But so what you see here, uh, board members who have a long history to National Western Authority that we started with Kelly and, and Jackie Hinman, uh, you see, you see business people, two business people are not here today. Uh, they're still on a holiday travel, but Rob Brown, who helped build concessions and malls, um, programs around the country, but here in Denver with the Northfield and Quebec Square. Um, Steve McCarthy, who is from Aleem uh, Management, uh, brings an international bent of business development. Uh, I think you certainly see the community uh, partnership with uh, uh, John Zappian and uh, Liliana. Um, and then who else do we have back there? Of course, community, Monique uh, Lovato, who, uh, uh, who brings a tremendous community background, but also business, small business development background to the table. Kelly Lead, who was there from day one when he and I scratched on the back of a napkin how we want to proceed and keep the National Stock Show in Denver for 100 years. So what you see here is a very capable board that hopefully touches on every one of the areas that we were concerned about. Any other questions? All right, let's take this smile and take pictures. <laughs>